Hey YouTube, I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK and in this video you're going to learn how to generate a color palette from one color in Figma. Okay, so let's kick this off. This file will be available in the Figma community. We're going to hit the R key and we're going to click. We're going to use this as a swatch. And let's pick one example. Let's say Notion. So if we go to Notion's website, we can get their primary color by right clicking inspect. I assume this is the primary color. And here we can just command C. We go back to Figma and here I just quickly paste that in. So we have our very first primary color. We're going to generate six color palettes from one color. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this five more times, which is command D, two, three, four, five, and six. And then I'm going to hold shift, click to the end, and then shift A to put this into an auto layout, horizontal with a spacing of 20. But what I have to do is get rid of the fill. So I'm just going to minus that. And, oh, I thought I had one, two, three, four, five, and then command D again, so we now have six. So what we have to do is go to this rectangle, command forward slash, and the first plugin you need is called Color Designer. And what we're doing now is hopefully it is not registering. So if I click out and in again, now it is, I've selected the layer and now it's generated, but we're not actually using this to generate the tints. We're going to go to color harmonies and we're going to find the complementary. So I'm just going to click on the plus and copy color and then just paste that in. And just as an example, if we go back to Notion, Notion also have a secondary color. If I go to, let's say, let's say contact sales and you can see here they have an orange secondary color. So it's interesting. So if I close that, go here and the same thing again, I'm going to look at analogous and let's say we go for this purple or indigo, copy that, copy color, we go here, paste that. And again, we go here. So what we want next is we're going to look at the red, amber and green. This is for form states for error, success and warning. So here I'm going to copy this one, copy, and then paste that, close, go to the next one. I'm going to use that as amber, copy that, paste that in, and then the next one we close. And then here I'm going to find a green. So this green looks pretty good. I'll copy that, copy, and then paste that. And now we have very quickly done our color palettes um, from one color. If you're finding value in this video, please hit the like button. But now we want to do the different tints and shades and we want to create the color styles. So command forward slash style list. So we go to color and we have to do the naming convention. So I'm going to do primary and we click here and we just grab the hex. So command C we place in here and here is generated and you can get more more in depth for what you want but I'm just going to keep it simple and create palette. So now it has generated this palette and it has also generated all the styles. So to get this organized I'm going to hit shift and then shift A and this is just to keep it nice and tidy. So again we re Repeat the process, command forward slash, stylish generator, color. I just go to my orange or complementary and we paste that. Don't forget the um, naming convention. So I'm going to say secondary, or you can leave it as orange, generate. And again, we're just going to select all, shift A. And then we just repeat the process.
Now what we've done is we created quite a lot of color palettes pretty simply from one from one color. The only thing that is not here really is the grays and the whites, but this is pretty, pretty nice and quick and painless really. Um, so to organize this again, we can put this into an auto layout. So shift A and the gap, let's say 100. So this is pretty, pretty sweet. We created a very nice color palette, very similar to Tailwind CSS, for example. Now, the only thing left to decide is you have to choose what is going to be the base color. Let's look at this number here. And the primary five, I'm thinking that is the most similar. So I have a feeling that all the fives are the base. So here you can then say base. And let's just give make sure that that base is actually the same because it can be slightly different command B great so the same thing again you can go by I but I'm gonna I'm gonna say that all the fives are gonna be the base okay so I hope you enjoyed this video if you found it useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell and please do let me know what you think about this because the whole plan is we first created a large set of textiles in the first in the previous video. Now we're generating a very nice color palette. Then we're going to look at a spacing system. The master plan is to create a design system 